a new technique that enables scientists to take chemical images, a high-intensity x-ray beam that shows patients why their hip replacements didn't work, and feeding time for a swarm of sandflies are just some of the things Imperial College London researchers will be showing visitors to this year's Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition. On the chemical photography exhibit, I asked Professor Sergei Kazarian to explain the new technique. It allows us to actually understand the distribution of uh, different chemicals within the samples. And a uh, broad range of samples, from biomedical samples like tissues, uh, cells, um, pharmaceutical tablets, forensic samples such as the fingerprints and paintings from National Gallery. What can we see at this exhibit? So we actually present a real imaging system that allows us to take chemical imaging of fingerprints from people who are coming to visit us. Why would people be interested in coming to see this exhibit? Well, I think people are always excited seeing something which cannot be seen by a naked eye. And uh, we believe people would be very interested how, for example, uh, imaging, chemical imaging can help them uh, to prevent atherosclerosis. That's what we also study in collaboration with cardiovascular experts. Uh, how this approach can benefit uh, forensics to find suspects from chemical images. Or how, for example, uh, tablets are dissolved. What are you most excited about this week? We are very excited about meeting of our peers, uh, you know, uh, fellows in, uh, in our field. And uh, equally, we are excited about the opportunity to present our research to a broad range of uh, you know, public uh, who, will come, who will come to our exhibit, like school children. Uh, school children uh, who maybe never heard about this chemical photography, chemical imaging, and how they will actually uh, will accept it.